Hey YouTube, Tacoma Comics here. Um, I got a bunch of stuff going on today, real short, like I said earlier in my video this afternoon. Taking off for uh, East Coast for a little vacation, see my uh, baby nephew for the first time. So I just wanted to get as much of this uh, stuff done as quickly as possible, so I feel like I'm caught up. So first of all, shout out to the community, man. I'm watching about five to ten videos a day, just kind of getting through as many as I can. Um, there's just such great content out there. So many people in the community with great uh, great ideas, great hauls, great information. Um, some people making five, six videos a day, it seems, and just, just churning them out and really good quality stuff. So I'm just shout out to everybody, man. Really loving it. Um, and give a special shout out to uh, Lindsay's Geeked Out Knickknacks. She's at, I think, 77 subscribers when I watched a video she did yesterday. So let's try to bump her up to 100. I'll put a link below to uh, her video. And let's get going today. I got three things. I've got a contest update. I've got a uh, little mini haul here. Um, and then I've got an AOK -okay of my own that's going to be tied into my contest update. Okay, so here we go. Um, half price bookshop this weekend. Nothing big. But I got another copy of this. You know, it was, it was pretty cheap. I liked it. I love this cover. Really, really cool cover. Um, on the R is a tiny bit of red. I don't know if that comes out. Yeah, you can kind of see a tiny little red smudge. Not a big deal. Um, this next one, been in half price for <laughs> about a year now. Not like a super popular comic in anybody's want list, but I love this cover. This is Scarlet Witch 10. Um, don't know much about these, this series. I think I've got the first one in this series. Um, just collected number ones that you, you find from time to time. But I loved this cover. I thought that was absolutely gorgeous. So finally figured, hey, it's not going anywhere. I'm going to pick it up before somebody else finally does. A uh, little run filler action here. Uh, not a, <laughs> even a big fan of this. You ever find yourself collecting something that you're not like super into, but you got a few of them and then you want to get the rest or you liked something about it and then you wanted to finish so Bendis's run on, on Guardians of the Galaxy the first run he did um I liked it enough that, that I started getting some more um sometimes I buy stuff just because there's a bunch of them at a really good price and have by price bookstore so not knocking this or saying it's bad or anything just not like something I'm super into but it's something I'm still trying to finish out the run on uh this next one is something I am getting into so the other day I picked up uh Greg Pox uh Storm number one, and I don't know if this is the first Storm uh, series, solo series. Uh, I got to go back and check that, but she was after Wolverine. She was absolutely my favorite uh, X Men, um, and so it's. I think it went to like twelve issues or something. I'm so far really liking it. I read number one, and I just glanced through these two. So this is number two, and you know, there's Callisto from the Morlocks fighting in the subway tunnels, and then. Issue three apparently involves Forge, so they're they're forging. Get it? They're forging ahead with uh, just kind of Storm's greatest hits. But I like Greg Pak. He's one of the creators whom I subscribe to their newsletter. The thing I've been noticing about comic book creators, uh, a lot of them are trying to get away from the sort of toxicity on Twitter and social media, and they're doing their own newsletters where it's just kind of like old school newsletters and emails to fans. But uh, uh, I get it from Joe Hill. I get it from Greg Pak. I get it from. Uh, Kelly Sue and, and Matt Fraction from Milk Fed Criminals is their little company together, and I think I get one or two others. So it's kind of cool getting newsletters from uh, creators. It's it's a longer read, but it's like less invective from people writing stupid comments in the comment section. So Greg Pock, pretty cool. I think I've got a, a signed number one of that storm from him, which is pretty cool. Uh, then there's that Stargazer Comics. Shout out Stargazer Comics in Tacoma. And I just picked up a few of their, their dollar bin books. Um, this was an Archie number one from Mark Wade and Fiona Staples. This is a variant. Uh, there are about like 12 variants, number one. This one is Jerry Ordway. And I don't really have um, too much familiarity with, with him or his artwork. But, uh, you know, I obviously know who he is from Superman and various DC runs, really popular artists. So it was pretty cool. Pick that up for a buck. Um, another variant here that's unfortunately got some spine ticks so it's not a not a high condition book but this is Billiquis Evely who has what is probably one of the prettiest names I've ever heard and, and she's a she's a real strong artist she did a lot of the work with Greg Rucka on um, 
Wonder Woman towards the end of his run, and uh, just really like this cover. I thought it was pretty cool. And I picked that up. And then I was falling behind Archie. I, I switched LCSs recently, um, and I missed a few, so I'm not even sure what I, what I missed, but I think I missed around these issues. So these aren't even variants. This is just 27 and 28. All right, so update on my contest. Uh, I've got four great entries so far. And I'm going to screw it up if I tell you who those four entries are. Um, I know one is Lindsay's. I know one is, um, I can't even remember her name now. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to try to remember. I'm going to just put them in the comments, the four people that I've got is officially having entered. I'd love to get some more. Let's encourage that by showing the prize pack and going over the rules. Uh, I contest 18 and over. Subscribe to my channel. And then all you've got to do is prepare or make or talk about an A-OK -okay that you're going to send to somebody. You can be a little bit cryptic about it if you don't want to show exactly what's in it. I know some people said that, you know, they got an A-OK, -okay, but they don't want to show it out. I kind of think it'd be cool. You show it and you put it in the mail and the person gets it the next day. But if you want to kind of hide what it is and just, you know, show that you're doing the backs of comics and putting them in and tell who it's for and why, that would be cool too. So you got to basically film yourself doing an A-OK. -okay. So these are the prizes. Um, I picked this up the other day at half price, uh, same time I got those, that, that Guardian and that Scarlet Witch. I thought that I didn't have this one because there were two covers they connect for issue 37 and 2. I did have it, so <laughs> it's going into the prize pool. Uh, two copies of Wolverine. Most of these you've seen, but there's a few extras from the last time I showed the prizes. There's a Wolverine 46, Sabretooth cover, 77. 80 for X23 in a test tube. Unfortunately, there's a rip in it. Uh, a little extra Wonder Woman. 16. Shout out to JoJo who loves this cover. If I ever find another one, I'll give that to you. But you could also enter my contest and win. Batman 14. Batman 36. A little jokes and riddles. Batman 27. Batman 26. Leave the bat alone and let's go to America. You got America right there. Uh, number one, I guess it's an extra number one, isn't it? Is that number one? Oh, seven, sorry. Uh, an extra Lumberjanes that I had. And I'm looking at this and I'm wondering. That wasn't supposed to be in there. Yeah. Uh, a little extra Rat Queens. Apparently, I already had that Rat Queens. Apparently, I already had that Eric Nettie, um, uh 7 to Eternity cover. Dr. Afra Annual 1. Dr. Afra number 12. These are all things that I bought two of accidentally, and then I got some really the kind of top stuff coming up. Redlands, book 6. I know it's the end. It'll be kind of hard to follow, but if you like the artwork and kind of the feel of it, I definitely suggest that series. Miss Marvel, number six from volume four. And then here's kind of the biggies in here. Signed Animosity, number one. Here's Animosity 12 to go with it. Signed Terry Moore, Motor Girl, number one. Signed Avengers Ultron Revolution, first appearance of animated Miss Marvel in comics. Signed by G. Willow Wilson. Even though she didn't write that comic, to me, she's the, she signed any Miss Marvel is on. Uh, got Chad Harden's signature on Harley Quinn number one. Is that from New 52? Yeah, New 52. A little horror comic called The Belfry here. Number one, I think. It's from Image. No, that's the normal cover. This next one is a blind box special cover. I... Uh, Marvel Collector Corps, Deadpool number one. This guy is the guy who does the, he's like the artist on their toys or something for the Collector Corps. Uh, I can't remember exactly, but he's not a regular Marvel artist. He drew this cover and signed it. Um, I don't think it's rare, but it's, it's hard to find a lot of information about it. Vampire Hunter number one. Monster Mechanica number one. Faith number one, signed by Jody Hauser and I think Chris Anker or Kevin Wada. Chris Anker, Kevin Wada. They were sitting next to each other at Emerald City Comic Con, and they both start with a K, and I cannot remember for the life of me if it's Chris Anker. I think it's Chris Anker, but if it's Kevin Wada, I apologize. And then finally, got some X-Men books here. 196, 
178, 246, and 254. So those are the prizes currently for my uh, contest. And I told you, I, I'm always adding stuff to this uh, because I just make mistakes in buying comic books and stuff. And um, I sometimes get doubles on things. So there you go. And that's the, the prize. And let me give you an example of the contest. Uh, A-OK. -okay. I got here a book I've seen at half price for a while. Nobody was grabbing it out of the bin. Um, this is Life with Archie number 14, but it's got this really sick rain cover. Rip Andy Ar Archie Andrews in the um, cemetery there. So who likes rain covers? Well, if you watch any of these videos, you know that the Doom is a big fan of rain covers. Um, and uh, I'm a big fan of the Doom. I mean... He's obviously a guy with some standing in the community, great videos, great information, big on Instagram recently, but uh, he was also my first subscriber, which shocked me. Like I put up my YouTube page and a day later I had a subscriber and it was the Doom and it's like, oh, cool. So uh, I hit him up on Instagram the other day and I said, you know, I got this for you. What's your, your address? I have his address and some packaging because he sent me other comics earlier that I won from the 9.2 crew, shout out 9.2 crew. But uh, I didn't have um, didn't have it currently, so he gave me his address, and I said, I got something coming your way, and uh, this is it. So this is what you got to do for my video. Send an A-OK -okay to somebody I mean, for my contest, not to me. I don't want your A-OK. -okay. That would be a little too self-serving. By the way, I could have done a whole video on how poorly I opened this roll of tape. It was like stuck to the thing, and I was sitting there peeling, and I was getting really frustrated, and I'm like, I should just get the camera rolling here. But I didn't, so save you watching eight minutes of that because it really was like an eight minute ordeal. All right, comic between two pieces of cardboard. Cardboard in the Gemini mailer. Gemini, Gemini mailer down and flat. We'll put one long piece of tape along that. See if I can do this without making a mess of things. Bam, and bam. I think it can probably fit that in a priority envelope. If not, I'll just get a regular envelope for it. But uh, there you go. Got this in the mail today with a different comic, and I'm sending it back out. I'd love to reuse these comic mailers because you get them all the time, and they're great. They protect comics. So I'll slap an address on that, and that will go out. All right, sum up. Small haul prizes and an example of an A-OK. -okay. That's what I need you to do for my contest. Big shout out to the four people whose names I've forgotten or I'm not 100% positive about. Thanks for entering. And uh, I think I said it ends April 14th because I started it March 14th. So it gives you about two more weeks. But when I'm away next week, I won't have a lot of time to keep up with videos or uh, promote it. So I really want you people to get some stuff in because I'd love to have a large group of people to fight for this, this box of comics for. Okay. Take care, guys. This is Tacoma Comics saying have a good day.